it's time for Christmas And Christmas is my favorite time of year It's beginning to look like all my wishes Are coming true, that's why I cheer I've been busy decking the halls I've been kind to big and small And now it's time to have a merry holiday What a feeling when it's time for Christmas Hello guys and welcome to what is possibly the most exciting video of the year It is of course my decorate for Christmas with me in our new house with a brand new Bruce the Spruce. I have honestly been waiting for this day for what feels like so long. And do you know what? I'm still excited for the future Christmases because we yet to even renovate downstairs. Obviously we've completed upstairs now, if you've been following along the journey. But downstairs is a whole new project which is starting in the new year. So yeah, future Christmases I'm all the more excited for. But we do have a brand new tree from Balsam Hill which is very kindly gifted. My parents have had one, I've followed people that have had Balsam Hill trees in the past and I knew that as soon as we bought our forever home, I'm not gonna call this forever home because who knows how long we'll be here. but our home our first home together i knew that i was going to be investing into a balsam hill tree so the fact that they sent me one so so grateful i have gone for the seven and a half foot vermont white spruce i'll leave a link to um their website below if you did want to check them out today is all about decorating for christmas it's a pretty lengthy one so grab yourselves a nice cozy drink and let's get organized let's have a bit of a tidy up let's get all the decorations out and i hope you guys enjoy my decorate for christmas with me 2021 coffee in hand right i'm gonna go get the filming tree filming room tree i'm excited for this one so this is from balsam hill a four foot birch LED tree. It's like a white twig tree, which I'm gonna have set up in this corner, I think. And then I can film my gift guide videos. Gift guide videos are already live, so this is in the past. I'm not gonna lie, I definitely feel like I need to kind of stand it somewhere. I am due to get some drawers here. So when they arrive in a few days time, what I might do is actually stand that on top of the drawers. I'm gonna use this Frosted Lake Faux Fur Tree Skirt to kind of conceal those wires. And this is in a gorgeous like white fluffy fabric from b and at eight pounds. And then I'm also going to have all of the same baubles on this tree. I got these from TK Maxx at 6 99 for a set of 16. Well, I'm all for Christmas. All the happy smiles and the wishes. And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe. Tell me one thing Is there anything that you're missing? Look at my hair. <laughs> I'm a mess. Figured about halfway in that they actually just slide onto the branch quite nicely. So I took off the ribbon of all of them and have just kind of kept them hanging off the branches and this is what the tree skirt looks like i've kind of just loosely placed it and yeah i think it looks really pretty i love it this would look lovely in an entrance way um you know as you're coming into the house making our christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favourite holiday I haven't seen too bothered by the tree thus far 
So they've even got this little pouch which has some tools in and some gloves. But also it comes with this uh, tree bag which is just going to be so useful to be able to put away. So obviously you don't need to keep this cardboard box, you put it all away in that after your first use. I think what I'm going to do is try and put it up tonight start afresh tomorrow decorating it. It's gonna go in this front bay window, which is the front of our house. These linen curtains from Ikea are quite thin, so you'll probably be able to see the lights through it from the outside, and it's kind of fitting, because I'm watching Ellie Darby's decorate for uh, Christmas with me. I might even go back and watch all the previous ones as well from all the YouTubers that I watch, and I can see Lydia Mellon's video there. Extra AF Christmas decor, planning on shopping. I might watch that next as well. And then Tom is en route home, so when he gets back, he'll be able to help me actually putting the tree up. I think he's en route with pasta in toast. So we're gonna have a yummy dinner too. Isn't that right, Barney? Christmas is all about eating wholesome foods. <laughs> Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me. Let me just pause Ali Darby. This is too small, so we're gonna have to get another one. I'm gonna have to properly measure it out. Maybe get the one from Balsam Hill itself, because I do really like a wicker tree skirt, but in the meantime, I do have a faux fur one. For now, I'm gonna sort this out and then be back with you guys once the tree is up, ready to be decorated. So this is how the tree is currently looking. I have had it on all morning. I love the fact that it kind of reflects in the mirror, this print, the TV as well. And this one doesn't seem too bothered by it at all, which is good. <laughs> I'm not the most happy with the tree skirt, to be completely honest with you. I feel like this B&M one is a bit too small for this tree. However, Balsam Hill are completely out of stock of their tree collars, the wicker ones. And the ones that I bought previously from the range, were too, that one was too small for lashes. Uh, tree. The one that I got from B&M for this year was too small for this tree, so I just feel like I want to make sure I'm getting the right size. So what I might do is live with that, like this one for this year, and then if they get them back in stock, I need to hoover up actually. If they get them back in stock at some point this year, or if they go into the sale, that would be lovely. And I might just pick one up for next year instead. I feel like now it's time to start actually decorating. It is obviously a new day. So I'm in some nice comfy clothes for decorating the tree. I've got my all neutrals leggings on. Super high waist and comfortable, love these. This is just a Primark tee. H&M cozy cardigan. Look at that dog, what is he doing? And just some cozy socks from Primark as well. Do you like it too, Barney? Can you go back? Back? Oh yeah, lie down, stay there. Oh, you look so pretty. You can model this tree perfectly. Look at that handsome boy. So I have kind of brought out all the decorations that I can find from last year and then a couple of newbies this year. So I might just talk you through some of these first before actually popping them on the tree. And then I've brought this out from storage as well. This is the tree glass bowl, which I use for popping some chocolates in and just kind of having it set out on the worktop and this was from the range last year. I think it was 9.99 last year. I do have this wax melt burning at the moment, which smells insane. It is ones from Asda that I got in Sugar Pine. These are sensationals, the brand is. So good, it's like an American, American brand. It smells so good, and I pop a couple of drops of the White Company Fair Tree oil in as well. Then I've got this in the sink currently, which is filling the room with a lovely scent of fern needle and amber from Zaflora. I also wanted to mention these because I had these last year and they work so well. You can get them from any kind of garden center or B&Q or online on Amazon. I'll leave a link to them if I can find them. But they are the centicles and they do different scents, but I like the idea of popping these within a fake tree and it's smelling like a real one. So I've got the first scent, but there are a couple of scents, like I said, depending on what your preference is. They're just essentially sticks that you can pop, oh my God, the 
already it smells amazing. You just pop these kind of within your tree. I personally put them on first and I kind of bury them within the tree. And then this is the last thing to go on the tree, of course, our tree topper. This is the one from Balsam Hill. Look how beautiful it is. I love it. Once we've renovated and done the kind of back extension with the kitchen living area to have a real tree in there and then in this cozy room the balsam hill tree so i've got some of these decorations they might not all go on but i am keeping all of these for potentially for future so these little wooden ones from ikea might not go on they are lovely I've got a couple of left over from the tree that i popped upstairs i've said before i kind of want one of each bauble rather than lots of baubles i also picked up three baubles from misguided so misguided now do decorations these ones are from the brand sass and bell so i've got this kind of glass fluted design a bronze and jute topper on so yeah that's the brand sass and bell and this is the other shape that i picked up just a circular one and i also picked up one of these now misguided have some burgundy paper decorations which i was very tempted to do a bit of burgundy within this tree maybe next year who knows maybe i'll pick up some nice burgundy baubles in the sale post christmas and do that next year because the white company this year bought out some burgundy napkins and i think with the kind of champagne theme that we're going with with the tree i think that little pop of burgundy is just beautiful and obviously we're not hosting we don't really have a place to host this year so i didn't pick up the the napkins but if they're still around next year I might inject a pop of colour, who knows. So I've got these ones from Misguided. They're just little cream paper decorations. I feel like these would go really well with the Ikea wooden ones. I've obviously got my little Fordham and Mason's hamper decoration, which I picked up in London. Love that. And I did go into a garden centre the other day. We've got one near us called Knot Cuts, which had a few baubles that I picked up dog friendly too so barney came for the trip with me so i'm going for obviously this this theme i mean it's no secret that i like my neutrals and i'm going for a little bit of glitz the antique glam like i keep saying is very much this kind of style so i did manage to pick up some more of the antique style to the antique glam so there's this one as well, which I picked up. Then this is more of an antique finish. Love this. Just like an antique metal uh, bauble. This one was $5.99. I do need to get a little ribbon for that. Excuse me. No, that's not for you. Oh, there we go. But Barney's found it for me. <laughs> Could just pop this little organs. <laughs> We're safe. I thought I'd broken it, Barney. He found this little organza ribbon from the other box of decorations so that'll go nicely on that thanks buddy and then i got one more bauble from there as well oh, i just think this is beautiful so again this is looking a little more rustic and antique looking it literally looks like you've fished this out the sea and it's been kind of rusting away for however long but that with the lights on it and against the champagnes i just think look beautiful so that's what we're going with and then i also picked up some from another garden center in fact where are those bits bents so many of you guys said i needed to check out bents and i'm glad you did i did film a couple of bits for a tiktok for like a bit of a vlog what's in store um show around of some items but i'll show you the baubles that i did end up picking up this one was three pound 49 and i have a couple similar to this so I feel like they'll fit in it this one will fit in lovely it's just a little pine cone i have quite a few stars as well actually so this one was 2.99 and it just has some sequins on this one is priced at 8.99 so they are a lot more expensive when you get to garden centers but look how beautiful that goes with the theme so you know i couldn't not pick it up and then this one was only 2.99 nice glitzy number again with the warm christmas tree lights on it it will look beautiful and then this is the last one that i picked up from bent's garden center and it is a kind of diamond shaped dropped bauble again it's that kind of brass hardware which is i feel what sets it apart to if it was to have a silver topper it just kind of warms it up i've got a couple more from home since which i haven't shown yet this one's a kind of jingly one 
and it was 3 99 This one's on a black ribbon, which I always love, and it's kind of a star, but 3D star. This one was 4 99 Anything beaded as well, I love, as you can tell. I've got this one as well. This one was 3 99 And then last but not least, I picked up this set of six. Now I'm kind of doing like one of each style, aren't I? But I wanted some smaller ones. And these are three different designs. Most of my other decorations, I'll just show you. They're pretty much from like from last year and everything from the range. So although I didn't pick any new ones up from the range this year, I do have some from previous seasons that I still love. Like these glass ones are beautiful. This is so nice. I featured this in last year's small businesses gift guide. It's possibly one of my favourite christmas decorations that i own so it's a wreath obviously but it's been made from an entire chapter 13 from prisoner of azkaban which how nice is that because for me harry potter is just like christmas i love watching all the harry potter movies at christmas i pretty much do it every single year so i love that wreath love the color of it as well obviously and then these are the other baubles which I put away into storage. Again, most of which are either from the range or home scents, I would say. These ones are from uh, home scents last year. So these are all of our baubles. And I feel like it's time to start popping them on the Christmas tree. on the tv if you want to do that it's literally just a youtube video i think it plays for about 10 hours so you could have it to kind of like set the atmosphere in the house and the tree is looking glam i'm loving the finished result i'm really really happy with it i thought i'd just give you one last overview and also the other decorations that i've put around the house including my filming room i've done a little decorative scene on the windowsill with some of my ceramic houses and also the garland around the banister and now the piece de la resistance the big tree it's done for 2021 and I'm so happy with it. Hey buddy, my number one helper has been amazing as well, haven't you? I mean, he's been sleeping pretty much the whole time, haven't you? I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope you're feeling festive. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. And I will leave you with a bit of a montage of what everything is looking like. And I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye guys.
woke up this morning I looked outside my window Where children lighting up the Christmas tree And the snow is falling It reminds me of the good times Those winters we would spend just you and me It's been such a long time But tomorrow's Christmas Day And I am on my way I'm coming home for Christmas Yes, I'm coming home to you I'm coming home to you. Ooh. I can't wait to hold you. We'll be sitting by the fire and watch our favorite movies on TV. We can do what we want to do. Walk under the moonlight and kiss under the stars. It's gonna be. Like we never were apart Yes, I'm on my way This time I'm here to stay I'm coming home for Christmas Yes, I'm coming home to you Oh, how much I missed you Wanna spend this day I'm coming home to you Thank you.